Mount Vernon, certainly when, when you put him on tape, Stemple will jump off the, the screen a little bit, I would think. Uh, what's the challenge when you play a team like Mount Vernon? Well, you've mentioned it. Uh, Stemple is an outstanding athlete, and he's uh, one of the many Stemples that Mount Vernon's produced, and he's gotten better and better with time. He's a uh, threat running the ball. He, he's very mobile in the pocket. If something's not there, he can create it, but he also has five outstanding receivers that have great quickness and speed, and uh, they're running that offense like a lot of teams would like to run it. Uh, as far as quarterback ability goes, Temple's one of the best by far around here. Uh, the challenge that offense presents, I would think, has got to be one of the more difficult ones in the tri -state. Well, definitely. Our defense is trying to simulate uh, their their attack mode, but, you know, they can run the ball as well. Davis is a very good running back, but they've got a number of uh, receivers who can catch. and They run very good routes, and they also run very good secondary routes. So we have to be aware every time. And, you know, if you play them too close or too tight, uh, Stemple breaks out of the pocket. He can carry that ball and, and make up, uh, make a lot of damage for any opposing team. Um, certainly the last three games on the schedule, uh, at Mount Vernon, at Cameron, play right to the right bowl. Uh, you smile when I say it, uh, but it's got to be something that probably would keep me up at night if I was a coach. Well, right now Mount Vernon is. Uh, we can't worry about the other things. You control what you can control. And the uh, main thing is our players have a good attitude. They're ready to play. And, uh, you know, they're just, uh, I think, disciplined enough and focused enough to go down and give Mount Vernon a game. I know Mount Vernon's going to have everything they can do uh, in, pre in preparation for us. They're going to be ready. Uh, at 6-0 at this point of the season, did you expect this team to be this successful this part of the year? Well, you know, we expect to be ready to play every game. And, uh, you know, we hope to go into every game with the opportunity to win. And we've been very fortunate in that regard. We have won, and I think the uh, victories that we've gotten so far are deserved victories. But, you know, that's uh, you're as good as your last game, and so far we're okay. But uh, Mount Vernon's going to pose a threat to us, there's no doubt, and uh, they're going to have something to say about that. Is there a, a certain excitement, a certain buzz when a team's undefeated this late in the season? You ranked really high in the polls, and sure the kids are pretty excited about the way the year's going. Well, they, they're excited, no doubt. There's a, a certain level of energy that, that we're enjoying right now. However, we don't talk much about where we are record-wise. We talk about our opponent, that's Mount Vernon. And these guys are real good at adjusting and focusing. They understand that we've got to be ready for Mount Vernon. So we don't talk much about the other things. Uh, right now, the focus is Friday night, Mount Vernon, Indiana. When you look at the makeup of this team, have you seen state championship teams on this field? You've coached them before. Uh, when you look at the makeup of this team, you see these guys and talent. Way they're coachable. This team got a shot to, to make a dent this year in, in the playoffs. Do you think? Well, we've got a, uh, an outstanding section, oh, but that's so far down. You know, there's a lot of uh, factors to go into any team getting to that level or to that point. The main thing is right now we've got to try to improve and try to be at our very best uh, that we can at this point of the year, and that's for Mount Vernon. So, yeah, we don't talk much about the other things because uh, that's way too far away. Sure. Well, that question for you would be uh, right. What, you know, not asking about the actual game, but uh, the rivalry and everything that makes it and goes into it. I know some coaches like to play just another game. Some coaches like to pump it up as the game. What do you like to do with your guys when you have that game on your schedule? Well, I think they get enough hype in a game like that at home and the neighborhood and from their cousins, from their friends. Uh, they don't need a whole lot of hype from the coaching staff. But, you know, like I said, uh, we've got to get ready for Mount Vernon because Mount Vernon approaches us uh, as their big game of the year, so we have to be focused on them. I guess one more question would be, do um, you think this is a good measuring stick for your team when you play a team like Mount Vernon? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, they could be easily undefeated right now. They took a very good Mount Garmel team uh, to the wire. Uh, things fell apart a little bit for them in the second half against Washington, but you saw Mount Garmel did defeat Washington, so... You compare some things. Other than that, Mount Vernon has not been challenged, and they have scored at will. So we have to be at our very best.